Jones, Jones, KC9KMA, and Hyman Sebastian Sebastopol also. And looking out the window, she's right. It's a complete overcast gray sky, just a pale blue gray in spots, but it's covered. Um, we do have 24 and a half degrees, 32, 30, decimal 22, going steady through the barometer, and a mere two miles an hour of wind. Supposedly, snow coming tomorrow, they say for us an inch, so we'll see if you're going to have that in your area. Um, let's pause for any emergency traffic. Uh, relatives are concerned, my uh, relatives 
have emigrated from the uh, Polish-Russian border, and uh, my uh, mom always said that we were Polish, and she was very stern in telling us that we were Polish, but she also let us know that uh, um, over, the, over the decades, the Russian border was wavering back and forth. I don't like it's doing now in Ukraine. You're never quite sure what's really Russia and what's really Ukraine and uh, that sort of thing. And um, anyway, uh, they came over and my uh, uh, grandfather uh, got a job as a uh, uh, worker in the uh, school system as a, uh, uh, a maintenance person and uh, worked in the, uh, in the school shoveling coal and uh, taking care of uh, shoveling snow and all sorts of uh, uh, carpentry type work and he became a, a pretty uh, skilled carpenter and uh, my dad uh, uh, eventually uh, uh, when he got out of high school, I was in the 1930s and he uh, worked in the CCC camp as a uh, clerk and uh, got to know paperwork and office procedures and uh, got a job in, in the, for a lumber company and an insurance agency hired him and uh, later he became a uh, uh, bank loan officer and eventually became the uh, president uh, of, the, uh, of the bank and uh, was at that bank for 50 years. So that's, that's his story. Solar flux index is uh, back down a little bit to 126. Uh, temperature is 30.1 degrees with a west wind at uh, 6.9 miles an hour. And uh, I'm going to take a look at the uh, barometer here. It'll take me just a second to bring it up on my uh, on my uh, web page. And uh, looks like it's at uh, 30.2 degrees, or 30.2 inches, uh, whatever that means. I haven't quite figured out the trends yet. Uh, so uh, probably going to be doing a little traveling today. I'm going to see a museum and maybe out to lunch. And... Um, just uh, uh, bracing for the storm that's supposed to come on uh, Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, that's supposed to be a stronger storm, and they're not quite sure of the track of it yet, but uh, there's supposed to be three storms coming in quick succession. Okay, now it's back. That was a timeout, I think. Um, it took a while to reset. Um, now we will recognize four stations on Echo Link, and I will break tradition one minute to see if Mike, who is OK1, Sam India Mike, do you have time to wait about five minutes to make your transmission? Over. Hello, uh, this is uh, Michael, Oscar Kilo, one Sierra, India, Mike. Uh, thank you, yes. I uh, just uh, listen here, uh, your round, and then I will wait, no problem. Thank you. Well, very good. Um, we will take the rest of the check-ins and then hear your transmission. I enjoyed your... QRZ page, you're a handsome young man, and I know where you live now, and I understand you are a big fan of Italy, and oh, am I too, as well. So now, let's take over the air check-ins. Everybody, please come. This is Kilo Alpha Diner, Whiskey Alpha Romeo.
All right, that's a long enough pause. Uh, KC9, LN Zulu, Kilo Charlie 9, Lima November Zulu, good morning. We have our winter short list today. KA9WAR, W9OBB, KD9UPE, AG9B, and KC9LNG. Is anyone else out there?
many there outside. 74 percent. No uh, snow uh, uh, coming down uh, right now. Anyway, uh, uh, we don't have any big plans, but uh, your question is interesting. I remember uh, one time uh, uh, Judy and I were residing in uh, uh, Cleveland, uh, where I had some studies uh, going on in here, and uh, uh, my uh, father and uh, mother came to visit us uh, in Cleveland in here and stayed there for a few days. They did not stay permanently, and, and we had a very good time all together in here, and I still have nice uh, photographies from them and from us at the time and here, so uh, it was a very interesting uh, thing. Um, another time, uh, the uh, parents of uh, Judy in here also came to visit, visit us in here, and uh, they stayed only for a short time and uh, went back with somewhere else also, uh, somewhere on the east part of uh, the country in here, after they had lived for many years in Milwaukee in here. So uh, some, uh, some short uh, uh, evaluation of what happened regarding uh, our families in here. Well, of course, our families in here uh, are not uh, alive anymore. They have been gone for a long time. And uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's a sad thing. But we remember, what we remember about them is extremely important uh, and very uh, soft and sweet and everything uh, how you want to call them in here. Uh, so uh, I could tell you a lot more about our family, but uh, and that would keep you on the radio for a long, long time. So I'm not going to do that. I think the next station that I heard was K N I N B I. I'm not sure I got that right, but, uh, but maybe John will correct me here if I'm not to uh, pick up the proper station in here anyway. Anyway, good morning to all, and I'm keeping, uh, I'm keeping listening in here. This is the night you all of you have a good day. Um, so far. 
KD9OBB. Thank you, Rick. This is KD9UPE, and uh, good morning to all on the net this morning. Um, and greetings once again to uh, Mike, OK1SIM, the Czech Republic. Pleasure to hear you uh, on, uh, on this net this morning. Uh, we got a good, good representation uh, all around. I think it's uh, most pleasurable. Um, as far as the question of the day, I think Rick can uh, do something more on the, uh, on the Olsen side, uh, the Swedish side of uh, things. Uh, I've, uh, I wasn't aware of the, of, uh, of the great grandfather there, or I don't think. Anyway, uh, that, uh, the Swedish side is uh, more and more open than uh, I, I think, and if you ask, there is some portions of the tree over to the west of here, of the family tree, that I wish I knew more, more about. But I, uh, they all call themselves Cuz and Cuz, and uh, I'm not sure how, <laughs> how that all worked out. Maybe that was just a, a good, friendly thing to do. Uh, but there was some uh, uh, shirt tail relation over uh, uh, out towards Wapaka and stuff like that. So, uh, and the uh, Rinden uh, side, uh, the German side, could get kind of quiet when they wanted to, when they weren't uh, always real uh, pleased with uh, things. So uh, I know, don't know a whole lot about that, although I do have a pretty good uh, uh, family ancestry. Uh, of, uh, the, one of the cousins got together and put, uh, put together. It uh, doesn't always say their occupation and stuff, but it is a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, uh, history uh, of uh, of uh, who and when uh, folks were coming over from from Germany. So, uh, but uh, that side of the family doesn't always get together a whole bunch. So, uh, we know more about the Swedish side, I, I think, than the, than the German side. But uh, and. Uh, so um, every once in a while, lately, I start to lean towards the German side. So anyway, with that, then uh, it's uh, 28, about 28 degrees here this morning, and overcast. It's not real cold out. It doesn't feel quite so abrasive or, or windy. So uh, uh, not too bad a day. We'll turn it over now to Damien. 89P. Damien, this is KD9 UPE. Good morning to you.
public, but uh, it's nothing uh, interesting. And I would like to say, uh, I would like to say, I'm too happy. Uh, did you did you allow me to answer uh, to to speak with you and did you?
white people in sciences and so on. So that gives me a very, very short <laughs> story about the Strasbourg that you were mentioning. And so uh, I'm quite familiar with the Strasbourg also. I've uh, been there alone and also whose name is Judy sometimes. <laughs> I confuse the name with somebody else's name. Maybe that somebody will remember my mistake in here. But Judy is the, the name that I know about. I always call her Judy. And, uh,
Anyone, anywhere, or check in. Please come now. Uh, look at the clock. It's time to get going. Everybody have a great day, a, a cloudy day, but it says weather alert, but it's just not going to be that serious. It's just winter. Um, Tuesday, supposedly, the big storm. Well, I don't know what but it is not that. All right. A particular thank you to our international guests. We are happy to have you with us. It brings us many interesting questions and observations. But to our faithfulers, you know who you are. We're and to those listening, we say a warm welcome. And thank you to the WDOR radio station who gives us room on their tower for our transmissions. So enjoy your trip in Strasbourg, and see you all when it's convenient. KC9KMA bringing the net to a close. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, 73, and enjoy today. Bye-bye. Michael, OK1, SIM. W9OBB, KC9KMA. OBB. Rick, can you help me? Um, as you know, I've changed every password, every login, every credit card on entirely too many sites. And Things are moving along pretty well, and as you might know if you've ever done this, when you change it on your desktop computer, you still have to go and check and redo it on your app on the telephone, so that's interesting. Here's my problem. I have a new login name for my Fidelity account. My computer won't unlearn the old one, and so I think conservatively, 30 times yesterday. I went back and forth and back and forth. You know, there's a box that says, remember me. I unclicked it. I logged in, back out, da 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 a million times. I went into Internet settings, Explorer, whatever, and on three different places, clicked clear cookies, clear history, clear whatever. So... The question is, do you have another suggestion? And then, how do I know which browser I'm using? Um, is there a, I used to be able to see where, what it was and what I picked, and boy, I can't find that thing. So, over to you. I don't know if you've had success changing your username other places, but on most of them, you will stay with that same username. The only way to do that is to leave the account, start over, set up a new account, and use a different username. Usernames are not normally part of security. Usernames are just there to match up with a password. So that's the deal there. No, normally, I never, ever have change a username on any site that I recall. If I did, I had to delete the, the account and then set up a new one. Uh, because as I said, usernames are not part of security. They're just there to match with a password. So indirectly, I guess it's a part of the security. But you normally don't change the username associated with that account. Uh, let's see. How can you tell what web browser you're using? Well, on your web browser, you'll probably see three little dots. They call that an ellipse. And if you go up there and you click on that, you'll find a thing that says settings. 
uh, or in some of them, I mean, they're different. So in some of them, you'll find about. Um, if there's a help button, go to about, because the about will always tell you the version and the browser that you're using. So it's, um, there's a uh, different user interface. So once you learn that, I don't know if you're running Edge, which is from Microsoft, or if you're using Chrome, which is from Google, or Firefox, or there's a couple other ones too. So you're probably either using Google or Edge, and you can find that out under the settings or in the help. If you click on that ellipse, like I mentioned, you will find that there's a help. I'm looking at Chrome right now. There's a lot, there's a, a, lot, a pretty large pop-up menu that shows up. And if you go down there to help, you can see where there's another pop-up that says about Google Chrome. Well, I'll tell you right there, you're in Chrome. Normally, every app, if you go to help, there should be an about under that header. And that should do that. And then one other quick comment. Um, that weather announcement that gets made and it says weather alert on, it doesn't mean that there's an alert that's on. It just means that if there is an alert, that will be turned on and you'll hear about it. Back to you. Good morning. The time is... 9 a.m. Weather conditions. Cloudy temperature. 25 degrees. Got it. Well, um, very interesting. Um, each of these, some of these, especially the financial institutions, offered me the chance to change the username, so I did. Um, but I take your point that some of that may have been wasted steps. Um, but for sure I went through and changed out passwords and login questions and things like that because, as you know, I gave permission to the intruders to access my DISH account and so they would be able to see my security questions maybe be able to guess those answers. So I, I have just like gone through, just I can't even tell you the hours it takes to unring the bell. And I'm not going to complain because they didn't get a dime from me and they could have, you know, I could be looking at that. So they didn't steal my identity, they just had an intrusion into one of my accounts. Um, I do have a fraud alert set for both Jeff and my credit account so that no one can apply for a credit card, um, but this apparently is part of the risk, is that since they've recorded my voice, they can use some of those number pronunciations to do terrible things. Well, anyway, um, thanks for the big tip about the help and about the version. That's going to take me away. But you would think, wouldn't you, that the delete cookies, delete everything, would do it, and it's not, because those login remember me things are still there. And I remember once back in Illinois, Jeff was just randomly clicking buttons and deleted all that stuff, and it, you know, it takes a long time to repopulate. So anyway, that's what I'm looking for, is to go ahead and do that. But I think someone doubled with you at the beginning, so... Um, Let's see who that was. Who else was answering, Rick? KC9 LN Zulu, quickly. I thought it might be you. Right, is it someone else or is it me, Joan? Rick is done, and then we'll go to Tom. Um, and, yeah, I, I think it is a good idea to go through regularly and maybe change. I use a password manager that's uh, super encrypted, and it's um, uh, hidden away, and uh, so it generates passwords for me, and every password is like 19 characters, and it's, uh, well, I don't type them in. I wouldn't type them in. So they are so they are so convoluted uh, 
those passwords would take a system a long, long time to try to, to try to figure out what it is. Anyway, that's more than you probably wanted to know. Over to Tom. I'm sure he has some additional. Uh, KC9, LN Zulu, W9, OBB. OVB, I'd like to know which uh, password manager you're using, but to Joan, and uh, I don't know if OVB has ever used it, I use CC Cleaner here, uh, the free version. Uh, the only thing I would caution is uh, you have to check a bunch of boxes, never check the white free space, but if you go through that thing and follow some of the instructions and click on most of the boxes there, that it cleans. It takes a while. Sometimes it can take up to 10 minutes, but it'll wipe everything that's in Firefox or uh, uh, that kind of uh, uh, option. Uh, OBB, any comments? Security settings and maybe reset uh, or clear because uh, it's your browser that, that's doing that, and that doesn't necessarily mean they're stored in cookies. It's your browser that's remembering those things. It isn't the site itself. Uh, the site is, like I said, in a lot of cases, won't let you change your user name. Um, but if you go to privacy and security, uh, that may allow you, because I know you can get in and change those, you know, when you click that remember me, um, <clears throat> that's normally um, that's normally a browser thing. So uh, let's see, what else are we going to say? Um, I think that's about it. So that's all I had to add. And um, oh, Tom, <coughs> I use a product <coughs> that I've paid for. I believe I pay it every year. Um, it's probably the best one I've found <laughs> by far. It's called Enpass. E N P A S S. <clears throat> it makes everything so much easier. Just <clears throat> passwords are not a big deal with me anymore. <clears throat> okay, back to you, Joe. KC9, KMA, W9, OBD. I'm very heartened by what you've said because I have done the right things. I'm nearly certain I'm on Google Chrome, I mean Chrome, um, on the desktop, and I've gone in and deleted all the stuff that we've mentioned. And then I went to security, and they did show a fidelity as one of the things there, and I deleted and deleted there, and it still remembers me. So it obviously can't forget. And so I, before I called their help desk, because they did offer that yesterday, um, I'm going to try these maneuvers one more time before they walk me through it. Uh, but most of all, I want to make sure that I do for sure have Chrome as the operating system. I think I dumped out of the AOL because it was so bad. And I know that I have Edge there somewhere, but I don't think I use it regularly. So um, it, it's certainly a possibility that somehow they remember that, and so I can go into Edge and delete stuff. Anyway, this is how my week has been. And so you know I am just not a happy camper. So we had to go to Birmingham to get a hamburger to cheer me up yesterday. I started working at this, I don't know, 11 o'clock, and by 2, I was still at it, and so I said to Jeff, that's it, no lunch for you, and he had to take us out. Well, it's, a, it's a tough life we live. Okay, everybody, thanks for listening. KC9 KMA, getting on with the day.
close enough. We'll talk to you all tomorrow morning. Everybody have a great day and an even better weekend. W9 OBD is off and clear. Most of that, Rick, and yes, I, I do know how to get at that stuff. Now, Bruce, off to fish during the flu season. Sounds terrific. I got invited, and it, it really is uh, a group of friends that I do want to see, so uh, in for a penny, I guess. Um, quick question, if Rick is still there, or Tom, or whatever, and it, I don't expect an answer, but I got a, a, a little um, scan disk type drive that says that the files are right protected, and I cannot unlock it, can't unlock it. I've done it the run command, and I've done a bunch of stuff that folks on YouTube have told me to do. Do you ever run, I just, all I want to know is, have you guys ever run into this and found it just bad thing that you can't figure out how to unlock it? Over to Rick, W9OBB. Click on that drive itself in your Explorer, in your File Explorer. If you right click, you should get a pop-up menu and then you should be able to go into Properties. And under Properties, you'll find one that has uh, security, and you'll also see check boxes there for uh, read-only or whatever, and you probably can change that setting in that area there. I uh, just wondered if you did that. Yes, I have. I've been there numerous times. It, it, originally, on the first time, it did say read-only. I've unclicked it many times. I mean, it does not re-protect. Re so when I unlock it the first time, it stayed unlocked, but it still is not readable. I know there's a switch on the micro carrier, and that's in the off position. It, you know, it, it, the YouTube things you know, tell you to go to the command line, and that always scares me, because it, <laughs> it always looks so much like DOS, and, you know, and I end up going, oh, I don't know if I want to be here. But um, there's a, there's a whole series of things that uh, I, w I would suggest to do. I'm going to take it to Quantum today and just ask them. It might cost me more than the disk is worth to get some information, but I'm just curious as to how that setting got corrupted. And that's the only answer I can think of. I think it's screwed up. Yeah, it does. It sounds like one of the attributes that, uh, that if they had you go out to the command line, um, that's where you get at and change attributes of those different, um, of the drive itself and files within. Maybe it's just the files within that each one of those is, um, is protected. But, but that was my next thing to mention. You have that little slider thing on whatever device it is uh, for write protect, uh, the lock on it. But, um, other than that, yeah, I'm stumped right at this point. I don't, I don't know unless it's at a file level. And um, well, I'm sure they would be able to uh, once they look at it, and we can go in and look at the attribute settings of everything. Uh, that should be able to tell you. There's something stopping it. Okay, I'll let you go. W9 O B C. Unless Tom has something to add. I'm not going to belabor it yet. I have no intention of doing that. Um, and I did go into attributes, and I cleared them. And it said attributes clear it, but then I still couldn't use it. So it's kind of, it is really, it's one of those things that is really insignificant, but I want to know the answer. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, Joan, um, we're headed to Glidden Lodge tonight, and um, we are told that it's not very busy, no reservation needed. And um, so it should be lots of spacing and everything like that, but um, um, a good group of people, so I'm looking forward to it. And it's Friday Night Fish. Um, back to you if you're still there, Casey Night KMA. I'm just intrigued by how many of us have these sort of annoying computer things uh, for the device that was going to simplify and enrich our lives. Um, I was successful, Rick, if you're uh, uh, lurking. Um, I was able to change the password and make it work on the phone. 
So my Chrome settings on the telephone deleted the old in with the new. And so I'll redo it again for the umpty ump time on the desktop, but that's so interesting. Um, but yeah, Bruce, I think with Glidden, the good news is it's a big room, you know, and so there is that. And at 2 o'clock yesterday, we were talking to Brad, who was on the other side of the bar, hacking away, hacking away. Um, and so I hope, and it's true, you know, there's always the door opening there so that it's a certain amount of turnover in air. Um, we lucked out. We did not get the coughs and colds that were in front of us with little children next door who were visiting and a uh, owner that we were talking to who had a really dry, hacky cough. Um, and we didn't get it. So apparently our flu shot and if it's a COVID shot are holding up. We didn't have RSV shots, so we're taking our lives in our hands with that one, but off we go. So have a good time. I don't know that I, I think I've been there only once. Can you believe it? So have a good day. Talk to, hey, you know, wasn't it great having Lithuania, though? I think it's really a nice addition to add Europe to the mix.
that I have gone in and taken off, but I may not have done it enough places where it says password manager and it said it had six or something, so I deleted those. But, you know, sometimes it, it, it seemed to me I would say clear and then go back and check and there would still be one. And so I thought, oh, that's it. This is going to solve it. And no. Um, so it's clear to me that the thing has a mind of its own. Um, so I'm going to try a few new things, um, but this is a good next step. I just, you know, I hate to bug the Fidelity IT people when it's something like this, because that's really beyond the pale. I can always type it in, but, you know, what's the point of saving it if you'd have to type it in every time? Or just use the phone, because then it's my thumbprint, but still, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, Craig. I appreciate it. Someday, I, I may, I doubt it, you know, either take some YouTube classes or classes, because if you don't know the first thing about it and you're a late adopter, uh, this is the key thing. If you come to the party late and you only use it for email and web searches and a couple of things, you know, it's just not my necessary tool. Um, but when I was looking around, and Tom, I know you're listening, um, I was in to, let's say it was Windows, so it was, must have been a Microsoft click. Anyway, it says, your computer will not support Windows 11. So, you know, this is going to be maddening, Craig. I'm going to have to get a new computer at some point, not because I want one or need one, but because they think I do. You know how this goes. But there's a, up here in Surgeon Bay, Quantum knows everything, and it's a business, and we just plug them. But it, what I like about them is they're senior friendly. You walk in, you hand them the box, they sell you the new box, and they put it all where you want it and look how you want it. And, you know, I'm still using AOL, and that's all you need to know about me. the difference between browser settings and account settings. So I will try to learn the difference and make sure I've done it both places. So thank you for that popping in loyal lurker. Uh, and oh, th if this one's in posterity, you know, really, just delete the account. You, no one needs to hear this. That's it, Craig. Thanks. Safety on Family and Square.
Microsoft has announced they're going to continue.